Minister, from a distance, what I find so unique is a percent of Catalonia that wants independence. I believe it's a relatively low number. How can you implement Madrid policy? How can you implement national policy and do it without the violence the world saw 10 days ago? Well, you know what, what you uh, talk when you mentioned the violence. It was um, a mandate by the judge to the police to avoid an illegal <coughs> referendum. Uh, I do believe that uh, we should uh, have talks, we, have, we should have dialogue, but, but there is, a, there is a, something that the regional government of Catalonia should do first. They should explain to the people, that's important politically, if they have declared the independence or not. Because the, 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 re, the president of the regional government hasn't been clear about this. So if he goes back to the rule of law, I do believe that there is a place for a dialogue and place for compromise. And this is what the government has written to the president of the regional government. And we are still expecting his answer. But if the answer is positive, and there is a poet, Spanish poet Antonio Machado, who says that today is always forever, so we can expect today a mm -hmm. positive answer. I do believe that the place, the place to solve it politically is the Spanish Parliament, where, of course, all parties are represented. In this timeless debate for Spain, what does Madrid have to give up in negotiations with Barcelona? Well, you know, when I, I've been a member of the European Parliament for 20 years, and I, when I negotiated, and I negotiated a lot of issues, I never talk about giving up. Or, or being the, or being uh, the, 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 being triumphant. I do believe that we should talk about the future together and what should be positive for Catalonia and for the whole of Spain. And there are a lot of things to talk about, about financing the regions, about uh, uh, special services, about education, yeah. about health services. There's a lot of, of things, of issues that interest the people and we could talk about them. And we are also ready to talk about them, of course. But, but uh, first step to go back to the rule of law. You cannot declare independence unilaterally. You cannot take the self-determination as a principle that is not in our constitution right. nor in any other constitution in the European Union.